Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips To Go. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Hangouts. If you're a beginner to Google Hangouts, it's similar to Facebook Messenger, um, but outside of Facebook Messenger or outside of uh, the chat window itself, you can just kind of access it through a web browser or web link. And let's get into the video. So in order to start using Google Hangouts, the first thing you want to do is go to this URL, which is hangouts.google.com. Now I'm going to show you how to use the mobile app as well as uh, the desktop app. So you could come over here. There's two ways of doing this. The first thing you want to do is actually, if you don't have a Google account, you want to first sign up with a Google account. And then underneath your Google account, what you can do, I have uh, two Google accounts, so I'm just going to switch over to my main one here. And once you've signed into Google, um, you want to come over to you know this little rectangle with blocks and come over to here and you can scroll out to hangouts just like that so this is going to bring me back to my other account actually brings me to the right right one so that's one way of doing it the other way of getting to google hangouts is like i mentioned go to hangouts.google.com and then you'll see your list of conversations if you have no conversations uh, you first you want to start adding people that have Google Hangouts by their email address. So what you can do is just do a new conversation. Um, now you can see a list of people that are in your Google Hangout contact list, or you can enter someone's email or name. So I'll, I'll put in one of my other accounts. And there you go, so I just added one of my other accounts sending them an evite. Now, if this email address didn't have Google Hangouts or didn't have a Gmail account, um, this invite will prompt them with how to get it and then how to download it. So you just press send. And then it confirms that it was sent. Now, some of the features that you can do is create a conversation. So conversations are easy. Once you see people that are in your list, like I mentioned here, invitation was sent. So once I accept this invitation on the other end, now Ron will be in this folder over here of people that I can speak with. So in order to start a conversation with someone, what you can do is come over here to the left, look at all your contacts, and what you can do is just, what you can do is just click on the user's name on the left. For example, I'm gonna click on this person's name, JLI, and now what I'm gonna do is just start a conversation and you could start typing at the bottom right here. Hello, click. Now there are some options that you can do. You can create a video call with them. So if you have a webcam hooked up into your laptop, you can start a video call or you could also create a group hangout chat and add more people. So as I click this, I can click on other people to add and keep adding and then I could create a custom group which will be a new conversation in a new window Watch as I add create group. Now we have a group, we close this. We have a group with two people in there, right? And now what we can do is people who join this group can see all previous messages. Uh, you can create the group name. You can say this is, this is a test group. And that is a, a test group. This is a test group. So over here, you'll see this is a test group. So some other options in Google Hangouts is just on the left side here, you can go to menu. Uh, you can do phone calls, invites, and these are the app downloads. And I'm going to show you this in iOS. I'm not going to do it on Android. I'll just do it on my iPhone. And so over here is this will show you your list of contacts. This is to you know your list of conversations I always leave it here just as people start messaging you you'll see this in bold and here you can make phone calls so you can create phone calls with people on your list so now I'm going to show you the iOS version of Hangouts it's very similar uh, it has a good app that I like to use because every message that is sit is synced from your desktop to your mobile app so let's get into the mobile app version. Let's come over to here. We'll come over to Hangouts. 
So this is one of my uh, virtual assistants, one of my employees that I've been having a conversation. And this is what it looks like. So right now I've got only one contact there. And at the bottom left, you can go home, you can see a list of contacts. This is a list of people within your, your contacts, your phone numbers that have Google Hangouts. So as you can see how I added um, Diana as a favorite, I went over to the star at the bottom here and I clicked on the plus sign and then I saw her in the contact list and I just clicked on her and then she became a favorite. So now that when I go into my favorites list, she will be there, right? And then this little icon here is the chat window. So this will show you all of the chats that are active. Like I mentioned, when she types something, it'll be in bold. And this is for voice calls. If you wanted to do voice calling from Google Hangouts. And the plus sign is just to uh, start a new group or enter an email or a phone number to start a conversation with, with someone. So that is it. That is the basics of Google Hangouts and how to use it. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.